G'day guys, welcome to Perfectly Reasonable Necessities. My name's Pete, and today we're doing a drill bit review and explanation video. We'll go through all the different types of drill bits and what they're used for. But first, if today's the first time on the channel, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to let you know that we've made something new. But let's get into it, shall we? And just a reminder guys, this video is for the beginner. So if you know what you're doing with drill bits, if you know the difference between a drill bit and the driver bit, please turn off and have a watch of one of my other videos. But uh, if you don't know the difference between a drill bit and the driver bit, or it confuses you, please stay tuned. All right, so when we're talking about things like drill bits, there is probably as many drill bits as there are jobs for them. So in general, your drill bits are in three categories. Category one is what they call a utility drill bit. So basically it's just a generalized drill bit that will go through most items that you'd use around the house. Things like steel or well, very thin steel and timber, plastics, those sorts of things. Then you've got specific drill bits. So these drill bits are drill bits that are used for a specific job. So you've got things like concrete drill bits, you've got timber drill bits that are only used for timber, and you've also got metal drill bits. Inside those categories, you've also got drill bits that do different jobs to the item that you're drilling. So you've got things like countersink bits, and uh, you've got paddle bits or spade bits. Um, and then you've got things like a combination pre-drill and countersink bit as well. So in this box, we've got a whole range of drill bits that we'll go through and uh, let's get into it. So what we've got is when you open this particular box up, uh, it's got mainly drill bits that uh, you don't use every so often. So we've got these drill bits here and you can see on the head of the drill bit right there and the camera focuses there we go it's got a funny sort of head on it so what that head there does right is that goes through concrete so that's for drilling into cement so if you want to put a wall plug in or those sorts of things into brick or screw or bolt these are the guys you use with a hammer drill now obviously that end cuts that end goes in the chuck so one thing in the chuck pointy end into the job so and that goes for all drill bits that we'll go through today so this one here you need a hammer drill bit sorry a hammer drill to go into and We'll go through that in another video, but that's the drill bit you use for concrete. And you can get all different sizes all the way up to big construction sizes. Another utilitarian drill bit, uh, a spade bit or a paddle bit. Okay, so these ones here, they have a bit of a different look. So these ones are for timber and or plastic. Uh, mainly timber um, and the size is written on the front so you got 16 there and you can see the the tip is very much like a blade and then it's backed up by these two cutters on the sides the chuck or the base of the drill bit is a little bit different it's hexagonal so you can see that there uh, it's to give the drill a little bit more ability to hold the drill bit because it's cutting a lot more waste material away there. They've also got a relief hole there. Now what that does is that's, that's to help heat dispersion when you're drilling gimba on hardwoods, those sorts of things. So typically if you're going to recess the head of a bolt, you'll measure the thickness of the head of the bolt and then you'll drill down that far and then get your smaller drill bit and finish the hole through. All right, because that also gives you a center. All right, 
and those ones can come into all different shapes, sizes. So these ones here. That's one of those there. Alright, so it's 32 mil again, hexagonal base. And then what you can do, you can also get ones with really long shafts on them. So this one is a really, really long drill bit. Alright, so that's for uh, obviously very deep drilling. So again, same configuration head. I've used this one recently uh, on hardwood. Uh, it chewed through quite um, quite fine. Again, hexagonal base. You can see that there. Another thing that you'll need to use when you're drilling particularly timber is countersink. So sometimes we need to actually recess the head of the screw into the timber. So that's what this little guy does here. And again, you can get these in all different shapes and uh, different configurations. So some of them have a um, like a full channel head all the way down to here. Um, but this one here is just a little countersink there. You can use it on aluminium as well, guys. Um, so you can, uh, any any timber drill bit you can use on aluminium if you're drilling that. These little guys here, again, if you're doing timber, things like doweling and that sort of thing, you've got this thing, these skins called a depth stop. So they've got a little screw on them there. You can see that. And so you do it up with an Allen key and it grips onto the, to the drill bit to stop it from going any further. Right, so I think that covers most of the timber drill bits that I've got that are timber specific, uh, with the exception of this one these guys. Now, some Americans call these Brad Point pits, bits. Um, this is what I, I call them that too, because that's basically what they are. They're a brad point. These guys are specifically for timber. So brad point bit means they've got a really sharp pointy bit. That obviously goes into the timber. That goes into your chuck of your drill. And it's got nice big wide, wide flutes here. So it can really get rid of the material. So these are brad point bits. Another bit that is similar to this is what they call an auger. Now an auger bit is, and we'll have a picture up here. Um, an auger bit is, the flutes are a lot wider and a lot further apart. And they're, they'll only do timber just like these ones. And these ones here have a round chuck. As well, so they go into you. And you drill that way. All right, so the only other drill bit that you'll need for things like timber or plasterboard or those sorts of things is a hole saw. So these are these guys here. So basically they come in two bits. That's what we call an arbor. So that drills your center hole. That centers the hole saw for you. All right, what you do is you take the nut off. And when you take the nut off, you'll see something looks a little bit different on the chuck end of the drill bit so there's the tip and there's the chuck or the base of the drill bit you'll see a a nut all right so that nut has a square edge to it so when you put it into the drill and sorry into the hole saw you just match that up and go like that so now when you've got it in it looks like that all right so you hold your drill bit there, like that, and you tighten it up at the back like that, just hand tight, doesn't need to be any tighter, because don't forget you going to undo these things, so put them away. And then that goes through the timber, so obviously you chuck there, rotates like that, and goes through there. So they've got teeth on them, you can see that there, and um, that cuts through your, all your timbers. Take it apart, just hold everything together, like that. Take that off. That's part, good to go. So to store them. And you get these in all different shapes and sizes and ability. So you get 
timber ones and you'll get metal ones and you'll get concrete ones and all that sort of stuff. Um, so when you go to your hardware store, it's really important that with every drill bit you buy, you know what type of job you're doing. So that way you can tell the people at the hardware store what you need. So if you go, I'm drilling into concrete, um, it's super important that uh, that you know what you're drilling into. Because so, that helps the, the person trying to tear the drill bit to see the right one. Now, along with drilling holes, you've got to do things like what we call driving. Um, so that's putting the screw into the timber or the bolt or the lag screw or the batten screw into the timber itself. So when we look at these sorts of things, these are nut drivers. So they're like a big cup. Like that. And this bit goes into the chuck. This bit holds the head of the bolt or the nut and you put it in that way. So you can get them all again in all sizes and shapes as well. Um, you can also get chuck adapters for things like sockets, which basically look like that at the base, and they have your normal socket wrench connection. And I'll put a picture of that up here. Now, <clears throat> the difference between a and you can see it here if I move the item back and the camera over a little just a little bit is that these here you've got two different sets here you've got drill bits here these bits are used for drilling all right so when you want to drill a hole drill bit so a drill bit again I'm gonna take that one out it's probably the smallest one in there I'll take that one nice big so that way you can see it all right so drill bit. Again, base goes in the in the chuck of the drill. This goes into the job or in the piece of timber or metal that you're drilling. All right. There's different colours on these drill bits, but I'll tell you that in a minute. So this bit cuts the hole. So this drill cuts the hole. That's the drill bit. Okay. So that's why we call that a drill bit. The next bit is what we call a driver bit. Now you can get them in all different. These ones you can get them in all different shapes and sizes. So we'll take just a couple at random. All right, so drill bits. Uh, sorry, driver bit. All right, so driver bit. Have a chuck end. So that's your chuck end. That's your driver end. So the end of the screw goes into the, onto there. So what you do is you cut your hole with a drill bit. I'm just getting another one out. So you cut your hole with this one. This one cuts your hole. So your screw. This one drives your screw. So different head to different types of screws. We'll go through those in a minute. Again, there's your chuck bit. It's got that dent in there so the chuck can grab it. Alright. Or an impact driver can grab it. And we'll go through that in a minute and how they're mounted. And then you drive your screw into the unit. Alright. Now some of them come with a really tiny head. Like that. See how tiny that is? Okay. It too still has a chuck end. So this one, this end here, that's the end that goes into your screw. And this one here, that's your chuck end. All right, but you go, but Pete, how's that going for my chuck? It's gonna fall through or not grab properly. Oh, that's a simple, easy way to explain that. That there is what we call an extension piece. So what happens is, is that you put the chuck end of the drill bit into the extension piece all right, and we'll just fix that up a little bit. All right, and then into your chuck here, Joe, like that. All right. So again, you can see that you've got a couple of different driver heads. Okay. So.
So uh, let's get a few out here. Hex Hex Ed Phillips. Yeah. Talk. I think we're okay. Alright, so your driver bits come in about these days four main drivers. So this here, that's a hex head, usually 5mm, okay? This one's a TR25, so it's a star head. See how it's got a star there? A star. Phillips head and a blade head, okay? So they're your four main types of screws that you'll use these days. Um, oh, and a square drive, uh, which I do believe I have one, I think in this set. No, I don't. I don't have a square drive, but you can, um, it's the same drive that the Craig screws use, and you've seen those in my other videos. So, uh, if you want to see what a square drive looks like, just look up my Craig videos, um, and that'll tell you, it'll show you there. I'll put a link to that in the description below. So, driver bits are different to drill bits, okay? So, driver bit drives the screw. Drill bit drills the hole, cuts the hole for the screw. Okay, that's obviously a little bit of an exaggeration, but you get the idea. A couple of other things when we're looking at trying to get the right size um, drill bit for the screw that we're putting in. A couple of little things to remember is that when we're doing a hole for a screw, then pretty much the size of the pre drilled hole needs to be a quarter of the gauge of the screw. So, right, so, again, so we have a drill bit. That's the top of the, of the drill bit. All right, that's the chuck, the drill. Drill the chuck. Get it close to the size of the drill bit, put the blunt end into the drill. Make sure it's straight. Wind it up. Notice I have no battery in my drill when I do that because I don't want to put that through my hand. When it comes to the differences between drivers and stuff, it can also come in different colours as well, just so you know that. Okay. Right, that's an M1. That's a square drive that I was talking about before. There we go. Perfect. Alright. So there are a couple of different ones. Now, we will get a battery. These tools. So these things. Right. Now, so we're going to drill a hole for this screw to go in. Okay. So this one's an 8 gauge screw. I know that because I've read the packet. When we look at the gauge of the screws, so this one will be a little bit different. This one's a 14 gauge screw, but get the idea of the packet. So there's the packet. This is what you'll get from your average hardware store. That 14G right there, that's the gauge. So that's the gauge of the screw, that's the shear value, all that sort of good stuff. Okay, so 50 mils. That's the length, obviously. Alright, so in this case, this little guy here, it's Phillips head. We know it's Phillips head because it looks like a cross. And it's eight gauge, all right? So, we go, how do we make sure that we don't over drill it so we, we miss? So, the pre drill hole is one quarter of the gauge. So that would be a two to two and a half mil if you want to. Two and a half mil is fine too. So you can go up half a mil, it's only 0.25 of a mil on the side of the hole. So, but I'm going bang on quarter, because I know that screws eight gauge. So I'm going to throw that into the chuck like that. Again, no battery. All right. So then we're going to connect the battery. We're going to drill our hole. Like that. And we're going to take the battery back out again. Again, guys, this is just for beginners, okay? 
So then we're going to get a driver bed out. It's going to go into our drill bit, which will be a number two. Number two. We can put it into our extension piece like that. So again, there's our there's our extension piece there like that. And then put it into we want to open our chuck like that. So we just got just got my thumb there like that. There we go. Put it in, close it off. Now, a couple of things, guys. This jewel bit is not magnetic. So one trick is that when you put the jewel bit into the screw, if you can do that with it and it doesn't fall off, then it's the right size. If it falls off, then it's the wrong size. Well, it's either too big or too small. But if it does that, you're good to go. So hold your hold your uh, Put your screw in like that. Some people tap them in. I tend to just do that with them. And the battery, close up your lid. And then, slowly, put in your drill. Now, I have to be careful because I'm using the table I built the other day. Right, so that does that. So that will drive that all the way through. So, and you can do that with everything that you, that you do with screws. So, we've just driven a treated pine screw into um, a bit of board. Now, people keep asking also, what's this bit for on the chuck? If that's the chuck end of my bit, what's it for? Okay, well, if you have a look inside, I don't know if you can see it there, if you can, not too sure. I have to have a look. Inside this chuck is a little ball. So what you do is you pull that knob forward and it depresses that ball. And then what happens is that when you stick your chuck end into the drill, and then let it go into the impact driver and let it go like that, it locks it just like a socket. No difference. Okay. So this one here again, just for those of you that don't know. Let's double check now and again. See, it's not magnetic. This is not a magnetic drill bit. I've not magnetized it. It's basically just the right drill bit. So it goes into the screw head and holds it. That's what it should do. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pre drill a hole. But these ones will take four and a half mil, these ones. So we'll get rid of our extension piece because we don't need that for this particular one. And. You put it in the chuck, and again, I've got the battery out. We proved all the hole. Be very careful not to go through the other side. Take the battery out. We put it in our impact driver, so it's going to drive the screws in. And then we start it like that, and that goes in. So I'll just see if I can get it in just a little bit more. You can hear that? That's it dry. There's a hammer on the back of the truck, banging that in as it's turning. So it does that, all right? So again, we'll just take those out, like that. Put that one back in. And what we can do is we can actually use the same impact driver to pick up on the drill bit for the number two. Put it in like that. Go to number two extension piece. Oops. Okay, if we don't drop it. In there like that. Change it to reverse. Put a hand on the top like that. And just take it out. A couple of things to remember. Remember when you're taking out screws from timber, nine times out of ten the screw will be hot because of friction. Okay, guys. So pretty much, once you when you take that screw out, you've got to be ultimately careful you don't burn your fingers because um, it will burn your fingers, guaranteed. So, all right. 
just put those in there, put that away there. So, drill bits also come in different colours as well. So the first cutter I showed you was uh, yellow, but the cutters can also go uh, come in black. These two ones typically here are um, considered to be steel use, so because they've got a carbide coating on them. So a little thing to remember too, guys, that when you're drilling with drill bits, again, sharp bits means drill bit, okay, because you're drilling or cutting the hole, um, is that when you're drilling things like aluminiums or hardwood or anything, anything that's tough, you need to drill slowly. One thing I see a lot of people doing is that they rev the drill up and they go, why isn't it working? Why is there smoke? Why is the end of my drill bit changing color? It's doing all that because you're going too fast. You're not letting the tool do the work. So um, the whole idea is of these drill bits is to make it <coughs> easier for you to drill things. All right. So you can also get things like step drill bits and stuff that will make it easier. Another thing is too is that Another tool that's good to use when you're drilling is you go. It's all well and good that you know the pit guide, sorry, the gauges of the of the, the screws and things. But what if you're brand new and you don't know that the pre-drilled size to a screw is a quarter of its gauge? Well, what you can do, you can get these things. And you get more different brands. Most drill companies do them, um, where they're just a, a size guide. So, pretty much we'll grab our same two screws out that we've got before, pardon me. And what you can do, this is metric, this is a metric, this thing. You can pop your screw into these holes and go, okay, well that one's obviously too big because it's flopping around like a fish in a bucket. This one here, yeah, it's almost okay, but the threads on the outside are... Uh, sort of almost clearing but then when you come down to this one this one here where the threads aren't clearing just the tip of the just the tip of the the drill bit which is you can just see it there just the tip of the drill bit coming through that's the size so two and a half mil um, is is fine for that one similarly we do it with this one so you've got See that one's not even looking like it. That one, see that one's probably a bit big. All right, that's five mil. So if we try like a four point, and then you can see the tip of the screw come through there like that, nice and easy, and it doesn't rub around too much. So there you go, four and a half mil. This one's a metal one, you can get in plastic, all sorts of things. Um, <coughs> so that's always handy as well to have. Now these drill kits, I picked this one up from my local hardware store. Um, and uh, it, it was on special. So there we go guys. The difference between drill bits and drill drivers as far as drilling holes and driving screws. If you've got any comments, leave them in the bottom. And probably today's question would be, do you pre-drill everything that you do or just things on like your end grain drilling? Or do you pre-drill everything? I know what I do. I pre-drill everything because I can't stand when it splits. <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, like, subscribe down the bottom. And uh, we'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.